Okay, boys and girls, we're going to work on verbal equations. We're just going to do a couple of these. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a couple of these, and then we'll get on to the more difficult um, problems. Okay, so for example, the first one says the quotient of C and 39. So again, quotient, like we learned in class, is division. So it's C over 39 because it's a quotient. And you set up as a fraction because a fraction is division. So that means C divided by 39 equals 25. So you don't need to solve this. Just leave it like that. Uh, let's look at one or two others. Uh, the sum of Z and 17 is equal to 17. So the sum, which is addition, of Z plus 17 equals 17. And I'm sure you can figure out what Z equals there. Uh, one more. So for B minus 19 equals E. So B minus 19 equals E. Okay, so let's go on to the um, next page. Next page looks like this. And what we're doing is solving. But the first thing that we need to do is combine like terms. So we're going to do two of these. The first one uh, is 15x plus 2x minus 179 equals 144. Let me just make it a little bit bigger for us. OK. So uh, I need to combine like terms. So I see I have a 15x plus 2x, so I can combine that. So it will be 17x, that's a 17, minus 179 equals 144. Now we learned in class that we need to isolate the variable. That means get it by itself. So the first step is to get rid of, rid of the 179. So if I'm subtracting 179, we know to do the inverse operation, which means to add 179. So we're going to add 179 to both sides of the equation. These cancel out. So I get 17x equals um, 323. Sorry. So what we need to do next is divide 17. Um, uh, sorry, we have to divide 17x by 17. And the reason why we need to divide uh, by 17 is, again, we need to do the inverse operation. Because 17 is a coefficient of x, so 17, it's really 17 times x. So the inverse operation is to divide. So whatever you do on one side of the equation, you must do on the other side. And when you do your division, you're going to find out x equals 19. All right, let's just do one more. Let me just erase these. Uh, let me slide it over. OK, so we're going to look at this one. First step is to combine like terms. So if I look at the terms, I see, and I, I'm going to box it out because it's going to be a little bit easier if I box it out. And I'm boxing the first one out because it has a negative there. So I want to combine the x. So I have negative 9x plus 13x. So that's negative 9 plus 13. So it's going to be 4x. And if you want, you could keep the 51 in the front. Doesn't matter. We could move it also. Um, so I have negative. And when I say move it, we could put it behind the uh, coefficient with the x. So I have minus 51 plus 4x equals 17. So I need to isolate the variable. So I want to get rid of the minus 51. So if it's minus 51 or negative 51, the inverse operation is to add 51. So I'm going to add 51 to both sides of the equation. And when I add uh, 51 on both sides of the equation, they cancel out. I get 4x equals 68. So what I need to do now is I need to divide by 4 because we're multiplying by 4 here. So divide by 4 on both sides of the equation, and x will equal 17. OK, so let's go on to the last page. And let me just make it a little bigger. So you'll notice here, and we'll, again, we're going to do like two of these, uh, that we have dis uh, distributive property, which is double rainbow, or uh, the term in the book is to expand. So we need to do that first. So the first step is to do this. So I'm going to keep 3x. I'm going to now add 6 times uh, 4x is 24x, plus 6 times 5 is 30. And that's going to equal 165. All right, combine like terms. So I have 3x and 24x. 3x and 24x is 27x plus 30. 
equals 165. Next step, like we just did, subtract 30 from both sides of the equation. And when I do that, I get 27x, because these cancel out, equals 135. 27x, we can divide it by 27. And, oops, sorry. And when you do that, x will equal 5. Okay, one more. The next one that I have is, let me just erase this. Let's do the one right next to it, number 2. Make it a little bigger. Alright, so here we go. Uh, first step again is to dis use distributive properties. So I'm going to rewrite the equation. 7x plus 4x, we have to use the minus. Minus 2 times 4 is 8, equals 91. Combine like terms, I got 11x minus 8 equals 91. We're going to add 8 to both sides of the equation. Once I do that, I get 11x equals 99. Simple division, divide by 11 on both sides of the equation, and x will equal 9.